A friend of mine, Alejandro Peña Esclusa, one of the leaders of the Venezuelan opposition and founder of the Un America movement, was arrested yesterday, July 12th, by the political police of Hugo Chavez. He was arrested upon ridiculous, false and absurd charges entirely manufactured by Chavez police and founded upon some testimony given by a supposed Salvadorian terrorist, Francisco Chavez Abarca, who would have denounced Peña Esclusa as his contact in Venezuela. The fact of the matter, however, is that Chavez Abarca, as soon as he arrived in Caracas, was interrogated and then sent to Cuba, where no independent investigator can contact him to verify whether his testimony really exists and whether it is true. The Venezuelan government says that Chavez Abarca is the right hand of Luis Posada Carriles, who in his turn was accused of having exploded a plane of the Cuban airlines. So far, however, the most compromising piece of information that has been found against Chavez Abarca is that he was arrested for car theft and smuggling. The justice system of El Salvador set him free in 2007. If there is no evidence that Chavez Abarca is a terrorist, much less is there any proof against Alejandro Peña. The Venezuelan police say they found explosives in his apartment, which is laughable to say the least. Peña, who has never shown any sign of mental unbalance, would have to be completely insane to plot bomb attacks against a government which he has filed suit against in the International Court of Just Justice. Nobody knows where Alejandro Peña is, nor what his health condition is after some hours of fumbling by the hands of Hugo Chavez political police widely known by their matchless tenderness. The Geneva Conventions guarantee to every prisoner the right to be visited by a minister belonging to the prisoner's religious denomination or by the members of the Red Cross. I appeal to the Catholic Church in Venezuela to send immediately a priest to meet with pay schools in prison in order to ensure that the excess of humanitarianism of the Chavez government will not lead the prisoner to death from emotional exhaustion or from some unknown and or unthinkable causes. The goal of the farce set up against Peña is to create an appearance of connection between him and violent right-wing organizations, which in the current Latin American scene stand out specially because of their spectacular non-existence. Alejandro Peña is known by both the American and Brazilian public as a serious and well-balanced public speaker who describes the political situation of his country with sadness but with serenity and without the least sign of hatred. Because of Peña Esclusa's democratic militancy, the Alabama State Legislature has recently taken up a resolution commending his actions. I here appeal to the congressmen of that valorous state and to American opinion makers in general to send notes of protest to the Venezuelan government against this one more proof of Hugo Chavez's utter contempt for the fundamental rights of his political opponents. Thank you so much.